Sobachoco, or 3CM9CM cup-sized porcelain vessels. Mass-produced for domestic use in Japan in the Edo Marie period, Sobachoco Pro 16 2018-86 Sobachoco were traditionally bundled in a configuration of five. Background. Sobachoco vessels are Truman J4 craft articles and at the same time exude a subdued yet austere ship use period in their production, design and use. The Wabai Savai of tea ceremony and Shibuya of Sobachoco are closely mirrored yet uniquely different. They were used in all households of Edo Japan. It is this use as an inclusive household item used by the masses and differentiates Sobachoco to all other Japanese ceramics of this period. Sobachoco were always bundled in a tradition configuration of five. Anogi Sotsu, the founder of Japan's folkcraft movement, defined Minjia as any beautiful object of applied art which served a practical function in the daily lives of people. Six key features were used to classify an artifact Minjia. These include created for the masses simple and design large production, Priced for all to forward displaying natural beauty and corporate characteristics of the area they were made and influenced by industrialization handmade. Choki, Chuki and most of Koki Irosoba Choko reflected all these qualities. Those made in the late Meiji 1900-1912, Taisho 1912-1926 and Delhi Show periods 1926 and S40 saw dramatic changes in design and manufacture and therefore no longer reflected true Minji classification. History Soba Choko are thought by most scholars to be derived from the Korean word chancha or chanka meaning wine cup or bowl. Originally Soba Choko were used as spice holders or drinking vessels, but latter became primarily used to hold sauce for dipping noodles or gaokeisha and Nakano Tori both suggest that the first noodle shop was set up in Osaka during the Kyoho era 1710s while Soba Choko were produced and used 60 years earlier. Specifically Nakano cites in historic records that the first noodles were eaten in the Kani era 1620s but it was not commercialized until the 1710s. Soba Choko was produced in various regions of Japan including Amuri Slash Arita Heisen in Kyushu, Sito in Eche, Kirikomi in Zendai and Oda in Tosa. Each region produced their own unique design, colour and form. The first Amuri was Kurumui commenced production in the second decade of 17th century, perhaps 1620 minutes 30 late January era and continued until the end of the temporary era 1844. Amuri porcelain production occurred because of two key factors the discovery of fine white clay deposits in Arita, and the skills and knowledge of Korean slash Chinese potters, particularly Sampyong. During the early 17th century, many mainland Asian artisans were conscripted and brought to Japan to develop high quality porcelain preparing, throwing, glazing, and firing techniques. Emery production eras. Dating Edo period, Edo Iroko Emery Sobe Choko production falls into three distinct periods Choki period 1620 1720. Shiki period 1721-1788 and Koki period 1789-1867. Each period characterised design, shape and style transformation. Within in each era there are exceptions and hallmark designs and shapes. Even today experts are not unanimous in dating early Kurimari. Sobe Choko produced in the Meiji 1886-1912, Taisho 1912-1926 and early show period 1926-40 saw a dramatic change in design and production and no longer reflected true Minji production. Shoki period Sobe Choko 1620-1000, 720 Gemma Kyoho ears generally featured poorer quality, often disfigured, thick sides and bases with oxide assuming a washed out appearance through thicker clay glaze. As the era progressed refinements and higher quality finishes become the norm. Traditional design were simple hand-painted and also used stencil slash stamping known as inbun. The Soba Choko was generally heavy in feel. The shape and design were stable and featured similar base, oxide designs and patterning. Shiki period Soba Choko 1720-1788 saw a rapid progression of designs and intricate patterns. Kiln stamps appeared and the quality of glazes and porcelain bodies improved. These early to mid-ear Choko featured thin bases and rims. No cone slash here marks McCurmy Meyer and no top inner board the markings Renzuku Mon. It was only in the last few years of Chuki leading into the Koki period did Kiln marks and sills, top inner board a pattern start to evolve. Koki period so Chuko spent the final 78 years of either 1789-1867. The period is the easiest to identify. The underside base featured an eyeball style circle Janum Kodai, used kiln marks, had decorative inner borders and also featured at time decorative top rims. Designs Commoners, merchants and nobles alike used Soba Choko every day. The Choko's design, shape and quality indicate the class of society it was designed for. Most Soba Choko were simple, not too ornate and functional. Traditionally designs were applied onto the porcelain body using cobalt oxide blue followed by a coat of clear glaze. The more intricate the design, the whiter the porcelain, quality of glazing slash designs and the use of colour not just blue on white indicated higher class clientele or specialist production. 
Designs were hand-painted or stenciled in freeform, embedded in frames or placed within bands. Four main design categories were used and included plant symbolism and prosperity, health and long life landscapes see mountains, temples, garden scenes minji geometrics, repeating patterns, seasonal images such as harvest animals, horses, fish, birds, bats, turtles, seaweed, clams and dragons. Certain designs today are highly sought by collectors and usually centre around animal design and highly ornate polychrome turquoise productions numbers were limited and are very difficult to source today. Colours Four main colours featured on Edo Iramari Soba Churker. The blazing techniques used on a white porcelain base clay body included white white with blue under glaze seed salad and blue wash with slash without gold outline slash pattern polychrome multicoloured over glazes. Inner board of designs Renzaku Mon slash Uobot Shao. Inner board of designs were used exclusively in the Koki up till the Taisho period. There were multiple border designs. At times the top inner design was mirrored in the Mikumi bottom design. The most common lower border design was an inverted U-shape Hakoma. This design featured across the late Shuki and the majority of Koki period. This border used as a key element when identifying the period of Choko production. Stamp design Mikumi Moyo. Two main stamp slash seals were commonly placed on sober choker either inside the vessel or in the upper middle bottom of the base. This stamp, its position and design provided information about the kiln, date of production and origin emery, sito, kirkormi, tosa etc. The use of these stamps or seals emerged in the mid to late chuki period and were common in the cookie period. Very few sober choko had inside and outside stamps in the early shoki period. Some exceptions to this rule exist and are referred to as index choco that feature a chuki period base but also include the Mikomi Moyo on the inside bottom. Shapes Sobe choco featured across each period unique shapes and designs. Base design cordae, side shape and rooms determined period specific production. This is the most important consideration when dating a period of sobe choco production. The main shapes include Betazoku fluted even tape hand tutsi rays base t bowl like its huge code rays base rim you know me taller than white, chimed or turned fruit and sorry fluted with ornate folded rim down arm code base design. Base is kodai. Over each period the sober churko bases were unique and provide a key to dating. The pictures below depict typical period styles. Shoki period kodai and the earlier stages were unrefined and robust. The actual edge or rim was thick and formed a clay base either raised or flat. As time progressed the base design became thinner and less weighty. Shuki period bases were characterised by simple clean white bases, refined, with occasional kiln marking stamp pictogram Mikomi Moyo. In the Kirky period the base featured a clear eye like centre. The wider the eye the earlier the production. Border designs Renzaku Mon Border designs, referred to as Renzaku Mon, were in the later few years of the Chuki period and used almost exclusively across the entire Koki period. A variety of design techniques were used with the most common being a triangle slash diamond style contained within a thin band.